Hello boys and girls, Miss Angela with Art with Angela, drawing at home. We are on day 108, 108 days we've been drawing together. Now, you might not know who I am, so I'm going to tell you. Have you ever watched Alice in Wonderland? Now I'm talking the Alice in Wonderland from Disney, the original one that's a cartoon. There are two people in it, and there are, they are called Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Now, I'm gonna say Tweedledum is missing today, so Tweedledee is gonna be drawing the picture with you. Now, they're kind of crazy, they kind of have a little bit of a cr uh, clown look to them, but Tweedledee and Tweedledum do everything together. How do you like my hat? Isn't that fun? <laughs> they actually have a little flag on their hat. But grab your paper and your pencils, your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, and let's draw Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Now this one, a couple weeks ago, we did an easy little pig. This one's gonna be a little harder, so get ready to draw a little bit, because there's two people in this, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. You just got Tweedledee with you today drawing. But grab everything and let's get going. Now, I'm gonna move this, and I'm gonna move this up closer so we could see really well. Oh, that's really close. And I got out my little box of pastels with me today because there's gonna be a lot of colors. So grab crayons or markers, whatever you got a lot of, we're gonna need it. Now, let's start drawing. We're gonna have two of them, so we're gonna draw one here and we'll draw one here. I'm gonna start with this one first because he's closest to me. Now their head is kind of tiny at the top and goes big at the bottom. You'll have to look at the, you'll have to look at the video. It's a fun video, Alice in Wonderland. So let's go ahead and make the top like this, kind of, and then we're gonna go down and make a really big face at the bottom. What kind of shape is that? Kind of like an odd looking pumpkin. Maybe, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna draw each part because they're just, they're twins. They look exactly alike. So I'll draw one here and then I'll draw one here. So let's go ahead and make that little tiny head thing. Come around big, and now we have the two, the two heads. And my marker's a little fat and thin, you know I always do that. So, all right, I think we're gonna draw the hat first, because once you get the hat in, you'll be able to draw the rest of it in. So the hat, we're gonna draw like a little, little curve, just like that. And then we're gonna put the bill of the hat. This is called the bill of the hat. And we're gonna come down just like that. So now he's wearing a hat on top of his head. We're gonna do the same thing to this one, but we're gonna have him, one's facing this way and one is facing this way. So let's go ahead and make a little line here. And then we'll put the little top on it just like that, a little hat. All right, you got the shape of his head, you got the hat. Now you have to really, I should have gave, brought out a picture so you know exactly what they look like ahead of time, but whatever. You'll have the little picture of me showing them. All right, let's give him Let's do his eyes, I think the eyes. Now they're just little tiny, half circles like this. This one's gonna be a little smaller because it's farther away, the bigger one and the little one. Let's go right over here and do the same thing because they're twins. A big circle and a smaller one. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and give him some little eyes. We're just gonna put little black right on this side. He's gonna be looking to this side and I think I'm gonna have him make him cross-eyed. And he's going to be looking in like that. All right, let's do, let's do the same thing over here. Maybe this guy's going to be looking over at this guy. So his little pupils are going to go over here. And then we'll do the other one looking over here. We won't make him cross-eyed. He's kind of looking at this guy, and this guy's looking at his own nose. Now, nose, I've got a red nose. Guess what? They got a red nose. So let's draw that pretty big right there. And then let's do another nose. I'm not gonna touch this one. This one's gonna be, he's because he's looking at his nose, we're gonna have it touching. This one's gonna be a little farther down. Just like that. I'm even putting it at a little angle. All right. If we do this step by step, it'll, it'll work out. Trust me, trust me. All right, let's do his mouth. Now his mouth has a big line. You see these lines that come down here on your face? These are, we're gonna put those on first and then put a line. So we're gonna put a line right like this and then one like this, and then we're gonna put a line right under connecting them. That's kind of this part of his mouth. Now let's do it, put his mouth on there. His mouth is gonna be, make a little C, and then let's connect it. There you go, so he's kind of going Burr. All right, now let's do the same thing over to this one. We're gonna give him this part of his face that comes down with the lines, comes down with the line, 
Come down with another line and then let's make a connect them. And then let's give them the same mouth, but we'll give them a backward C this time. And then we'll connect it like that. Oh, you've got the makings of Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Now the easy part comes, because this is just the clothes. The face is the hardest part. Now, let's go ahead and give him, on the top of his head, his little beanie has a little, has a little top on it. But let's not give him a whirly. Let's give him a little flag. Because like the real movie has a little flag on the top. And let's go over here and give him the same thing. How do you like drawing two people at the same time? Sometimes it's easier to draw one than go over and draw the other, but since we're talking about the shapes of the head and the shapes of the hat and everything, it's easier to draw one than do the same thing right again. Now let's give him another little flag here. All right, I'm gonna give him some hair. He's got some crazy hair, kind of like my hair, crazy hair. But his hair is red. Now I'm just giving the illusion of hair. One, two, three, I'll give him four. It could be any amount you want. We want to make sure it's down. Well, it doesn't have to be. It could be any place over there. We know it's hair. All right. Now, he wears a big bow tie. We're going to make it really big. We'll make a circle here. And then we'll give him a big bow tie. And we'll go right up and meet his, meet his face. And then we'll do the other side of the bow tie. And go right up and meet his face. Now, we're going to jump over to our other guy. And we'll make a circle. And then we'll do a big bow tie. Look how cute they are. Now, he's got a big collar. Now, my collar isn't as big as his. So we're going to really make the collar big. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to go, whoop, big collar. And we're going to do another big collar right here. That's a really big one, isn't it? And then we're going to do the same thing to this guy. Collar. This is the collar when I'm saying the collar. And then we'll come down and do this. Now he's got pants that come up. I don't know. I showed you far up. Whoop! You can't see them. <laughs> we have pants. So we're going to draw the pants here. And we'll have them go down like this. And let's draw pants that come up really high. And then we'll meet them right over here. All right. We have got... To, oh, you know what? He needs a couple little ears. Let's give him an ear here. And where else is the ear? Hmm. Let's do an ear right about here and an ear right about here. All right, now they got some ears. Now we are ready. Are you ready? Now I'm going to start with, I'm gonna start with, we'll work our way from the top down. So I've got my whole little thing here today, so let's see. I'm gonna do his little, the little stick, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color in, I'll color it in brown. And I'll go over, I'm doing just like I said, I'm gonna go one, then the other, because they're twins, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do some yellow for his for his flag and a yellow flag over here this one I got this out like I said we're gonna be using a lot of colors today now on the movie his hat is red so let's go ahead and make his hat oops I gotta peel this one a little bit not gonna color when there's paper in the way okay now we're gonna make his hat red And do the other side. And we're even gonna do the brim of his hat red. That's gonna tie it all in together. Right now it looks like he's got really mean eyebrows. But once you color the hat in red, it won't look like he's, he's angry at everybody. There, see that looks more like a hat. That looks just like he's going, Arr. All right, let's get the top of the hat. All right, he's looking fabulous. And then we'll do down here. And let's go ahead and make his nose red. Why we got the red in our hand and we're doing the face. There we go, we got a red nose right there and a red nose right there. Perfect. Now, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna use the skin color. Now, if you don't have skin color, use whatever color or you can leave it white, but I'm going to use the skin color here and I'm gonna color in his whole face. Now, I don't wanna color in his eyes because I wanna keep those white. And I'm going to color in right above here, too, because this is part of his face. Remember, this is just under his nose. I like cartoons because when you draw cartoons, they can really be, they don't have to be the right size, you know. 
like that part of your mouth really isn't big like that but that's it's fun when you do a cartoon it's uh you can do it the way you want and then let's go down and get the bottom of his face now my hat's all different colors but in the movie alice in wonderland there their hats are just red. All right, so let's get his ear here. I gotta move over to the other side so I can reach it better. And we're gonna do his face. There we go. Get down there, we're gonna do it up part of his mouth. Now I could have done his mouth red, but I think I'm gonna do it pink, so not everything is the same color. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of colors in this one. This one's fun. Well, not a lot of colors, but enough that it's Enough that you want your crayon box out for this. All right, I'm going to have to peel this one pretty soon. But for right now, it'll work. All right, we even got his ears. Don't forget those ears. Make sure the ears are all colored in too. All right, let's get, I said I'm going to make the mouth pink. So let's go ahead and make the mouth pink right now. Maybe even. Let's do the bottom of the mouth pink, like he's got a tongue. And let's do the other part, like a tongue. Now, we didn't draw this part. I'm just doing this with the color, so just living, living wild here. And then I think maybe there's so many colors in front of me. I don't usually do this. And then maybe I'll just make that gray in there on the top. Now, if you want to draw the whole mouth pink you can do that but I'm just playing as I'm going along I'm putting gray in there so it looks like it's the dark part uh, you can see this tongue but then it's all dark in the top <laughs> oh my gosh I'm a little crazy what can I say all right now I am going to make his tie green so I'm going to color in green it could be whatever green you have in your crayon box I'm doing mine in kind of a darker green So if you haven't seen this, the original cartoon version of Alice in Wonderland, you'll have to watch it. It's my favorite. I've seen the one with Johnny Depp in it, and I've seen all the other ones that they've made, but I always like the cartoon one best. I don't know why. I just like it. One of the days we'll have to draw Alice. That would be fun. Okay, now let me move over here over to the other side and we'll do his tie i like kind of drawing one than the other and i don't have to go back and draw the whole thing all again i just kind of draw it step by step and we're moving we're working our way right down from top to bottom on this because there's so many colors we don't want to miss anything all righty almost done here All right, now we're gonna do his shirt because he's not just like me. We're making him more like a cartoon. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get my yellow and we're gonna make this part of the shirt yellow. They're very bright. And what do we have? Those are his pants. So I'm just gonna draw a little yellow right here and then it'll be yellow in between here because it's both of them leaning up against each other. They're not really connected. They're just leaning into each other. A little yellow there and a little yellow there just will give the idea that his arm is out there now we're gonna leave the collars white and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna take the red and we're gonna do his pants so we're gonna go down here oh these are so much fun remember when I told you when we do these sometimes sometimes the drawings are much more complicated have lots of parts to it that's one of this today is that and then sometimes they're really easy like our little pig was super easy so we'll have to do another one of a couple of them that are really easy maybe next week maybe next week we'll do a cow i think a cow might be fun because that would be easy we got to make sure we we draw for everyone not just the people that are you know older and can do this very easily but we also have to draw for our, our younger our younger group that are just learning how to draw. You want to include everybody when you're learning to draw 
or when you're drawing. Because everybody needs a chance to learn to be an uh, artist. Okay. Now, we are missing one more thing. Okay, they're nice and bright. So let me put this back away. Let me get orange. I'm going to have bright orange hair. These guys have bright orange hair, kind of like a clown. Now, I only drew little lines, but I am just going to go in there and get crazy and just color in between this. What do you think? Pretty cool? And let's give the other side of his head hair. I'm going to go beyond my lines I drew. The lines were just to give me the idea where the hair goes. And then I'll go over here and I'll do this guy's side, this guy's hair. And we'll do this side. All right, now, do I want to do anything else? Hmm, I don't know. I can't seem to leave well enough alone. So I am going to take a color and I'm going to do a background color. But you do not have to. If you want to, you can be done right now. But I am thinking I might put a blue in here. Just to, so I have more color. I want this to be a very, very colorful Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And since it's in, in um, Alice's Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland, that's always very bright and colorful. You know what else we could also do? The Mad Hatter is also a very cool. I've got a whole list of things. I'll have to, we'll have to do a Mad Hatter. I like that idea of the Mad Hatter at Alice's Tea Party. There's so many characters in that movie. There's the rabbit, and there's Alice, and there's the Mad Hatter, and Tweedledee, and Tweedledum, and there's the queen, and there's all those, the um, queen's little army that's all made out of playing cards. Oh my gosh, we could, we could spend a whole two months doing just Alice in Wonderland people. But I've already said I promised a cow next week, so we'll do it, keep it simple for some of our new, our new drawers, our new artists. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have started this because it's going to take me forever. Oh, this is so much fun. I like these two guys. I'm going to switch sides. Here we go. It gets my, sometimes it gets my little thing going when I move around, doesn't it? Ah, I like it. They should have had these. They should have had the little propellers on their hats rather than... Okay, I'm getting there, folks. I'm getting there. I'll just do it really fast in the end here, so I just can't seem to get my, there we go. So remember, you do not have to do the background. If you just drew Tweedledee and Tweedledum and you say, I love it just the way it is, that's the way you're going to keep it because you're the artist. All right, now I can draw better. Oh, there we go. Just a little paper off of it makes all the difference in the world. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed doing Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I am Tweedledee, and I will check in with you next week. Remember, next week we will do, what are we going to do? We're going to do a cow. That's right. I better remember by next week. A real easy cow. Now you can see my pants, how groovy this outfit is. Mm-mm. No siree. But we'll see you next week for day 109, and... Do what I tell you every week. I want you to be safe. I want you to be kind. And I want you to be creative. And I'll see you in a week. Bye-bye, everybody.